Blog Success Journal. We're continuing our series on how to start a blog. This is step seven, how to write your first blog post. We're going to talk about how to make it interesting and engaging to your readers so that they'll want to come back for more. And yummy to the search engine so they'll send more readers because that's important. Mm -hmm. And today's show is brought to you by HostGator, the only web host that we actually recommend to our own friends and family. And through Dan and Jennifer Style, we got you a really sweet deal. Go to blogsuccessional.com slash HostGator and you can start your blog today for just a penny. Why so take advantage of that while it's still available. Okay, now a year ago I would have said just the opposite of what I'm about to say, but these days I'm going to say write your post in WordPress. Okay, the editor has gotten so much better than it used to be. Okay, so go ahead and write it in WordPress because if you write it in Word or in email or in some other editor and then paste it into WordPress, then you're going to get into some formatting nightmares. Okay, so either copy plain text into the WordPress editor or write it directly inside WordPress. Whatever It'll you save you a lot of hassle. Don't paste from Word because there's no way to get the funk out of that content. <laughs> you're going to be struggling with that later. Cleanup is, uh, yeah, not good. Okay, writing the article. Plan your topic out. You know, something that I really like, first you come up you come up with a headline, what you're wanting to write, and your headline is your promise of what you're going to deliver. And then you gotta make sure you deliver in your article. And rather than just starting to write, well, something that I really, I think is a really good uh, approach, write your topics first, your, your subheads. Three to five bullets yeah, that, that deliver kind of on the from. promise. Exactly, three to five bullets. These are gonna be your subheads that actually deliver on the promise of the headline. Also make sure you're focusing on one keyword. Remember, you're writing for people, so you wanna deliver great content, good headline, but you wanna have at least, usually one major keyword that this article is gonna get ranked for. Okay. And, okay, be sensational. I know that sounds kind of funny, but what that means is you want to write good, powerful headlines that people actually want to read. And here's an example. You could write an article on how to give a woman multiple orgasms. Okay, you know, that's a very interesting topic. That is. But how's this one? It's so much better. Five ways to give mind-blowing multiple orgasms to any woman. Which article are you going to read? Yeah, absolutely. And whatever you do, I see these posts now and then some, uh, sometimes you, you'll have these guys write, my first video, my first article, today's Blah. article. Never ever do that, okay? Nobody wants to read today's article and it's going to be ranked for the word today in search engine. Actually, it's going to be ranked for nothing, okay? So make it a good headline that, that is a promise of all the stuff that's actually in there. Okay. Now, and if you make a big headline, you better deliver. Oh yeah, because th that's also really bad. If you come up with this awesome headline and then it falls flat, they're going to feel gypped at the end. No good. Now, use chunks. Remember, people like to scan online, so you don't want to write these big, long paragraphs like you see in print articles. S little bitty paragraphs, just basically two, three sentences each. Yeah, thought. at the most. At the most, exactly. Yeah. Two sentences. Each thought should have its own article, uh, its own headline, rather. Um, sorry, each thought should have its own little mini paragraph, and those subheads make it easy to scan as well. Yep, they should get the gist of your article without ever having to read the whole thing. Think resume, not novel, and lots of white space. Yep. Okay, add value, okay? Especially when you're writing for the web, quality beats quantity all day long. Write a really good, solid, jam-packed 500-word article rather than a thousand-word fluff piece that doesn't really have any content. You want to give people solid content, but yet leave them wanting a little bit more mm -hmm. so that they'll come back next time. Good grammar. Again, put your best foot forward. Um, it's hard to be seen as a guru or an expert if you can't put two sentences together without them sounding like all run-ons. Um, it's so simple to fix this. Just get that uh, after a deadline plugin for WordPress that we talked about before, and it adds a little spell check, spell and grammar check button at the top. Actually use that, fix your articles. Just, it's a last minute easy step that makes you look good. And use what we call the million dollar spell checker. Oh, yeah. Actually read it out loud to somebody, because then it's amazing what you pick up that even the spell and grammar checkers won't pick up. Even if you read it yourself. If you got nobody okay. to listen to, that, that's second best, but it's amazing. Read it out loud. Okay, so up. here's the thing. Dan talked about the headline and you want to target a specific keyword. You want to know what keyword you're targeting. But again, you don't want to keyword stuff the article, okay? But you do want to focus, like if you're writing an article on blogging, you don't want to say blog, blogging, blogs. You want to pick one tenth of that word and try to use it throughout the article. Now, our favorite tool that we absolutely love for this is Scribe SEO. Now, it's not free, okay? But it is so worth it. It's the only tool that we found that actually integrates into WordPress and allows you to SEO check which make sure you got using the right keywords and the right density in the right places before you publish your post. All the other ones are most of the other ones. It's always after you publish your and post. What good does that do you? Yeah. yeah. So, Scribe SEO. Awesome tool. Absolutely got to have that one. And you can, I'm pretty sure you can try it free actually. Do yourself a favor and do that. Also, add links within your article, within your article, uh, pick certain keywords and add links to other articles that talk about that keyword at length. That's basically telling First of all, it's letting this person that's reading you, your reader, click on that to get more information, but also the search engines are saying, huh, you think your other article is worth linking to, so you're linking to it. So that's a great, uh, it's a really great SEO strategy. 
Okay, and on the continuation of keywords, tags. Add tags to your post. Now, don't add 45 tags, okay? Pick the top three to five words or phrases that this post is actually about and make sure they are what the post is actually about. Don't just put random keywords that you're trying to get ranked yeah, for. And, and watch our, our other two videos that go a lot more in depth about pick, what keywords are and how to pick the right tags and keywords for your post. Now, schedule your post. This may seem counterintuitive, but you don't want to be in this in, in, in this mode where every morning you say, oh darn, I got to finish this article because it's got to go live by nine o'clock. You don't want to do that. You want to sit down, say on Saturday, Sunday, whenever you feel like writing, crank out a few articles and then schedule them to go out at regular intervals. Readers and search engines like to see consistency. You know, say you publish every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at roughly eight o'clock. So you write this post in a WordPress, you schedule it to publish at a certain day and time. Use that feature, it's very important. Yeah, okay, so this was a lot of stuff. I know it was. Go back and watch this video again and take notes before you write your first post. Yeah. And then don't forget to go to blogsuccessjournal.com slash hostgator and take advantage of that one penny offer before it goes away.